The Luminote products from Luminex converts network protocols to DMX slash RDM outputs, and they handle merging and routing of control sources. They are used in theaters, at concerts, and sports venues for lighting control. And via Skahoy's integration with Luminote, you can control house lights when no console is around or when no trained operator is present. You can trigger lighting cues, specific setups, or emergency actions using Skahoy's rack mounted, desktop, or compact controllers like the Quick Bar. And one Skahoy controller can, of course, manage multiple Luminodes. This is the Quick Bar, one of our smallest products, but very useful in a context like this one. It has six buttons, but as I just said, any of our controllers can use this configuration or have the actions you see in this video mapped onto the button. So you can mix together functionality and control of multiple different things, including your Lumi Next Luminode products here. Okay, so uh, let's get to the main thing. If we look at routing, of the um, sources, the control of your lighting setup, like this one over here. Right now, the Luminode is piping through control from an ArtNet node on our network. That is animating the beautiful lights you see behind me. And that is profile number one, the one you see selected right here. So as long as I have this selected, it will pipe through all these DMX commands that is happening at the moment to these lights. If I choose something else, you'll basically see this is stopping, right? Now, if I scroll through, you can see we have multiple profiles and those profiles are inside this unit. I have another profile which would make sense, the one called main console. For instance, if I pick this one, basically I'm handing over control to the main lighting console at the venue. We also have a backup control. If I pick that one, I'm handing over control to the backup console. And those consoles, they currently have a setting which makes the light go to this position and use these colors. And that's basically why there's a change when I go between these two. And of course, if I go back to profile number one that was channeling through a light show from an, a server on the network, we see these animations happening again. So that's the routing part of this product. There is something smart inside of each of these profiles, and that is called snapshots. And the snapshots is what makes it really useful when we don't have a lighting console attached or if uh, we need a simple way for an operator to recall presets, you can say. And I have such a thing, let me see, if we go to profile number 12, this one, that is actually, um, that has some, some snapshots we can recall. So if I, if I exit the profiles menu by clicking this button, I get to the snapshots menu. And having loaded this profile up, I can now recall um, snapshot. No, wait, actually, that's not the right profile. I actually named it smarter than that. I called it conference speaker. Makes a lot of sense, right? So there's a profile called conference speaker, not that other cryptic name I just accidentally selected. And if I pick conference speaker, that would be me not being a lighting expert, and I would pick that one and say, okay, inside of conference speak, I have four, four options, four snapshots that I can use. Snapshot number one will give me this. That's a backlight and front light. If I take snapshot number two, I get just backlight. If I pick snapshot number three, I have front light only. And then finally snapshot number four, which would give me all the lights are turned off or dimmed so much that it's essentially turned off. So that's me having very easy accessible options, all managed by the Luminote here and recalled from the Quick Bar or any of the other Skyhoy products that can do this. So uh, the way it works, apart from the snapshot section giving me access to, let's see, 20 snapshots here. And if I go to the profile section, I can go between 20 profiles. I also have a home section, section where I can back, actually play back my snapshots. So um, let's just quickly go to my profiles again, because I am currently at the conference speaker and in there I had these four snapshots. So if I go to my home page, what I can do here is to play them successively. It does not make a lot of sense for conference speaker settings because those are meant to be recalled by my preference. But imagine you're at a sports show and there you have basically recorded snapshots that goes with the performance every, every night. You do this multiple you know, nights a week. And what you basically want is to have a play button and that will go to the next setting, okay? So now we see backlight only, next setting. 
and now it goes to front light. So that's number three, and the next one will be number four. It's set here in the display, and I press it once again, and it records snapshot number four. So you can basically have like a playlist, and every time you press it, it goes to the next one, plays that back with animations and whatever else is inside the Luminote. I want to show you two things. The softwares behind this. First of all, we have Skahoy software right here, Reactor, which is running out of the quick bar. And inside this, you see a connection to the Luminote having loaded this one up on the IP address, connected to it, it's all good. And then I have a configuration for my quick bar and notice that we have a lot of configurations for many other um, jobs that you want to do with the quick bar basically. But what is interesting to us here is actually the profiles because it turns out that we may want to rearrange the profiles a little bit. I would like the conference speaker profile to actually get to the front and currently it is profile number 14. So I could basically take this one and then I could drag it up in the order of profiles here. I, I think I want this as number one, okay. And I think maybe my, um, I want my, and you see this already changed, right? Because if I go to my first page, now my conference speaker profile number 14 is the first accessible button. That's great. Then I want my main console, that's number 10. I want that as my second choice because it's very likely that this would be like my second choice there. And then I think my backup is probably number 11. Is it not? Yes, it's number 11. But to me, it would make sense if number 11 is like on the second page, because after all, it is a backup. So let's just drag that up to first item on the second page. Then I can also blank out things that I don't want to see. So if I do like this, now let's just go here to my first page. I have conference speaker, I have my main console, and now it goes to the main console input. And here I have my demo. I just added that so we can see, we can select the demo. If I go to the second page, there I have my backup console and I basically blanked out uh, everything else on this particular page. So this is how you can rearrange the profiles recall. And uh, that's what I wanted to show you from within Reactor because that's really easy in there. While in the Luminote, this is where you define those profiles. I'm no expert in this software, but I still want you to have a glimpse inside. So here you see the nodes, you see every uh, connection here in the front, which more or less corresponds to a DMX universe. And if we go to the toolbox, you find the profiles that I'm basically navigating here. So uh, under profiles, you see the, um, the profiles we have acquainted ourselves with today. Number one, the one that runs the light show right now. If we go to number 10 and 11, those are the main and the backup console. And number 14, my conference speaker uh, profile. So in this software, I would be able to um, modify the contents of these, including which values every one of the snapshots has, or I can recall those uh, snapshots from a main console, for instance, because they have some origin, of course, they are created somehow, somewhere um, uh, by somebody and easily accessible to me when I'm using the console here. For instance, in this case, now I am at the conference speaker again, and I recall the first, the second, which is the backlight, the, the front light, and finally turn it all off again from my quick bar. Skahoy products are great for integrating all kinds of things including lighting. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You can also follow us on social media or reach out to our sales and support team through the links in the descriptions below. Thank you for watching.